Originally plastered and painted bright red, the Pyramid of the Sun is the largest in Mesoamerica and the third largest pyramid in the world. Found along the Avenue of the Dead, across from the Pyramid of the Moon, it was named by the Aztecs who visited the city of Teotihuacan long after it was abandoned and they believed it to be the birthplace of the fifth sun. The name given to these pyramids by the original builders and inhabitants of the site is unknown. The Pyramid of the Sun was built over a man-made tunnel that leads to a subterranean cavern located down beneath the center of the structure. Originally this was believed to be a naturally formed lava tube cave but recent excavations have suggested that the space is man-made and some archaeologists speculate it could have served as a royal tomb. Some great catastrophe apparently struck the city around 700 AD, reducing its population to below 70,000. The city was then deliberately burnt and destroyed, and over the years its buildings collapsed, the pyramids became overgrown with dense vegetation. Even so, eight centuries later, when the Spanish arrived, Teotihuacan was still revered far and wide as an intensely sacred place, but no one remembered who had built it. Though the culture that built the city has been lost to history, there exists extensive evidence that the precise arrangement, proportion, and alignment of its many monuments expresses, at the very least, advanced and detailed astronomical knowledge well beyond that which they've been given credit for. My name is Robert Sepper. I'm an anthropologist and author. I'd like to invite you to explore some fascinating mysteries with me, which for the most part have eluded any serious consideration in mainstream academia. Species with Amnesia, Our Forgotten History, and Gods with Amnesia, Subterranean Worlds of Inner Earth. Thank you to all my new friends and my gratitude for the support and enthusiasm I'm seeing for this material.